ಪರಮಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಜಗತ್ ಬಹುಧಾ ಕರಣ ಪರಶಕ್ತಿ ರನಂತ ಗುಣ ಪರಮ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ವೈ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಫಾಲೋ ಚಾತುರ್ಮಾಸ್ಯ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಸ್ಪೀಷಿ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಮಿಲಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಪೀಷೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಫ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸರೌಂಡೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಈಚ್ ಆಫ್ ದಮ್ ಆರ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಒನ್ ಸ್ಪೀಷಿ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಫ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ನೆಸರಿ ಆರ್ ರಿಡಂಡೆಂಟ್ ನೋ ವಿ ಮೇ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಮೇ ಫೀಲ್ ದಟ್ a certain fruit here a certain plant here is just redundant but that's because of our limited intellect first of all we need to open our eyes and we need to come out of our myopic vision then we can begin to understand why our ancients followed chaturmasya why there is the vidhi of chaturmasya why to follow chaturmasya cannot be understood in the current paradigm because the current paradigm is destructive not just to nature but is it is destructive to oneself it is foolishness to call this as advancement we cannot call something as advancement which threatens the very sustenance of life that surrounds us we are driving more than 100 species of life on a daily basis to ex- extinction so this is the kind of life that we are living in what angle in what way can we call it as advancement it's crazy basically the way we live needs to not only sustain us but sustain all the various species of life all the various species of life together all of us are the praja of god yona pita janita yo vidhata bhama aniveda bhuvanani so god is our pita he says sarva yonishu kaunteya murtaya sambhavantiya tasam brahma mahad yonihi aham bija pradap pita god says that for all species of life sarva yonishu kaunteya murtaya sambhavantiya ತಾಂ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಮಹಾಯೋನಿ ಯೋನಿ ಅಹಂ ಬೀಜ ಪ್ರದಿತ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಮದರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದ ಫಾದರ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಸೇಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ವೈ ಟು ಫಾಲೋ ಚಾತುರ್ಮಾಸ್ಯ ಓಕೆ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮಂತ್ ಇಸ್ ಶಾಖಾವ್ರತ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಚಾತುರ್ಮಾಸ್ಯ ಟು ಬಿ ಪಟೇನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸರ್ಟನ್ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಫುಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೊಬಿಲಿಟಿ ವೈ ಡೋಂಟ್ ವೈ ಇಸ್ ಮೊಬಿಲಿಟಿ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಚಾತುರ್ಮಾಸ್ಯ why do we follow the restriction of not eating any produ- plant produce during chaturmasya shaka vrata the first the first month every month has different restrictions the first month is shaka why is shaka why do we not eat plant produce there is a certain logic so for that we need to understand as human beings our function is to orchestrate in such a way that we play along with the system that god has put in place that sustains life so human beings role is this we need to understand when to do what what happens during this time we have to observe nature what happens is after the summer everything gets dried up and then with whatever reserves are left in the roots of perennial plants again when there is rain then again it begins to shoot to uh, blossom it begins to shoot up and then it begins to grow so this is the time of growth this first month is the time of growth so we need to orchestrate as human beings in such a way that we facilitate that growth and we allow it to stabilize you see what would happen if say even if something is growing say you have grown some paddy or something and then you just keep cutting you need to allow it time to stabilize so all these greenery this is the time when it grows with the reserves that are left in the roots or there has been seeds that have been distributed during the uh, seasons before these seeds also have reserves so from those reserves fr- with this rain there is growth and we need to facilitate that growth how do we facilitate by not interrupting you see nama devarige na thumba kelasa madodu beda naavu yenu maadbardu anta devaru helidan nodi ಅದನ್ನು ಮಾಡದೇ ಇದ್ದರೂ ದೇವರಿಗೆ ಸಂತೋಷ ಏನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಪ್ರವೃತ್ತಿಂಚ ನಿವೃತ್ತಿಂಚ ಎರಡು ಮುಖ್ಯ ಟು ಡೂ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನೆಸೆಸರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟು ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಡನ್ ಆ ಬೋತ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ವೋಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೆಷರ್ ಆಫ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಬಂಡೆನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ವೀಡಿಯೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಬಂಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಸಸ್ಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಸೊ ಆರ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆರ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ ವೇ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಇನ್ ಸಚ್ ಅ ವೇ ಆಸ್ ಟು support that abundance so we have to not interrupt with the growth of the green 
in this growing season. So this is the whole idea of not eating shaka. You see, this green is what is sustaining life. First, we need to come to terms with that. It's not the software industry, not something you can produce, not something that is produced in the, from the human brain. It's not something, it's not some software, it's not even any of the services or goods that the modern economy produces, the modern human civilization produces, is not what sustains life. First, we need to, we need to actually understand that. You see, then we'll begin to understand why we are doing this. Photosynthesis that happens in these leaves, that is what sustains life. The sunlight is used, the leaf produces food, and then the food is circulated up and down. Then by the process of exudation, the food is delivered to all the various living beings that are there in the soil. There are millions of species of living beings in the soil, the various kinds of bacteria, fungi, even, even mosquitoes have their work just above the soil where there is a foliage of leaf. Then there is the millipede, the centipede, the scorpion, there are millions of species, the earthworm, that are important for the soil, that enrich the soil. So this, the photosynthesis provides food for them too. By the process of exudation, the food goes to the roots and from there to these living beings. So it is they that enrich the soil and this is the time when they multiply, when their numbers increase and they are the only means by which we can enrich our soil. There is no other way, mind you, to enrich the soil. A civilization which does not re recognize the importance of maintaining its soil shall perish no matter what technology we have, that we have blind faith that it will protect us, no matter what. We are going to perish if we don't respect the soil because our sustenance is that. So these living beings in the soil are enriched by the photosynthesis and this is the season that they multiply. You might have noticed that you walk around during this time, you will get one of these various kinds of peeds under your feet and then you just end up stepping on them and you say, oh yeah, I just stepped on them. So this is the time when they are lurking around, multiplying, they are increasing in their numbers. So we have to facilitate that. So our mobility is restricted so much so that even the the... Uh, for brushing our teeth, the twigs that we use, we collect that also. So, the first month is based on restricting our food habits in such a way that we don't eat plant produce. Cows are also not to be grazed during this time because we are supposed to give the plants the time to grow. So, this is the idea behind the first month of Chaturmasya. It's a time of growth. And we let the growth to come to a point that it stabilizes. And then we start taking the produce. So there's an idea behind this. There, there is, there is a, you know, playing along with the system that God has put in place. And God smiles, you know, because the only way in which we can be happy, and not just that, not just being happy, but we can sustain ourselves, only if we play along with this system that God has put in place. And there's no other way, there's no other way, there's no other way. No matter what advancement human being achieves, or no matter how much he is deluded as being the apex of so-called human evolution. Human evolution, the evolution of the human intellect would be measured by how much we can recognize the system that God has put in place. Janma Jesse Yataha and play along and understand our function individually and collectively. Human beings have a collective function in supporting this. So let's wake up, let's come to our senses. And let's understand that sustenance is based on playing along with the system that God has put in place. Evam pravartitam chakram nanu vartayati hayaha aghayu rindriya ramaha bodham parthasa jivati. Krishna says, anyone who does not play along, anyone who does not contribute in taking this life, in taking this cycle of sustenance forward, anyone who does not understand what they need to do regarding this, they live a life that is wasted. They live a life that is sinful. And they are destructive to themselves and the world around. So let's not be that lot. Let's wake up. And this Chaturmasya is an expression of that sense that we have inside of being part of this creation and of being of being aware of what our individual and collective responsibilities are. Shri Krishna Pramastha. Narayana.